So I just dropped the rest of the family off down behind me. I don't know if you can see back there or not, but down by a little creek basically where they're gonna splash in the water and have some fun on a nice hot summer day. <laughs> um, but I'm driving back up because you can't park down there. Um, I was able to drive down, uh, down a ways, I'll show you here in a second, to drop them off and then drove back up here to, to just park. But we're gonna have a good day just having some fun in the sun, so. It's just so important that we all kind of just get out once in a while. Like, my family's never been much of a, let's uh, run around and play a bunch of sports kind of family. That's just not who we are. But it is nice just to get outside and get some fresh air, um, kind of disconnect from the internet, <laughs> disconnect from technology, and don't worry so much about all the social media stuff and uh, just all the, you know, honestly, things that don't matter so much. Like, we were just talking about what would life be like 300 years ago? And we talked about, we immediately named all the conveniences that we wouldn't have, but we also talked about how, even though we'd be doing more physical activity, sometimes just like manual labor type jobs and that kind of stuff, um, that, that's also just good for your mental health. And it also got me thinking about how like, you know, so, mu so often we try to avoid work or avoid uncomfortable situations. But if you, if you really think about it, a lot of things that we avoid are also t sometimes really good for us. It's good to go through trials and it's good to go through hard things because it makes us a better person. And thinking about that with Raylan too, like we, we oftentimes look at Raylan's life and think, oh, she's got it so hard. But all of our hard experiences, and this is true for all of us through all, through all of life, all of our hard experiences shape us to be more resilient, to, to view life in a different context. And that can be really, really good for us if through those hard things, we learn to trust God and, and, and also love each other. Um, hard, hard things aren't good in themselves, but hard things can be good if they let us, if we allow them to lead us to good things. There's a verse in the Bible that says, whatever is good, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is praiseworthy, um, think about such things. And I probably got some of those things out of order or missed one or two of them, but uh, the point is, dwell on good things, even during the hard times, and it can lead to a, a good life. So I'm going to go enjoy some of that good life right now with my family. Um, just enjoying the fresh air, the water, the sunshine. I hope no matter what hardships you face, you enjoy the good life as well. God bless you. We'll see you again next time. The